from September 2023 all the way until March 2024, I managed to upload over 500 YouTube videos, graduate from university, and stay in shape all at the same time. Therefore, in this video, I'm gonna help you start a successful winter arc. And to do that, I'm gonna go over five steps that will help you get there. Okay, so for number one, the first step that we have is plan. Now, what do I mean by plan? Well, there's kind of two steps to planning that I need you boys to get your head wrapped around. So the first step is the input, and the second step is the outputs. Now, I'll write these down here, so input and output. So when it comes to inputs and outputs, these are the two type of things that can go into your plan. You can plan for inputs and you can plan for outputs. Now we'll start with outputs. When we're talking about outputs, these are things that we can't control. These are variables that we're projecting, we're kind of manifesting, we're fantasizing over these uh, objectives or of these uh, metrics or over these outcomes because, like I said, they're things that we can't actually control. We have, we can, you know, put inputs in to try and get as close to the output as possible, but we can never 100% accurately predict what is going to happen on the output end. So if I give you an example from my life, the output that I wanted was a certain amount of subscribers, a certain grade from university, and to gain a certain amount of muscle on my frame, on my physique, right? They were the outputs that I wanted. But like I said, these are not controllable. Therefore, we turn our interest to the inputs. Now, these are things that we can control. So for example, with my output wanted to be a certain amount of subscribers, the input that I would put into that is upload a video every single day. The output of wanting to get a good grade in university or in, in one of my courses, in one of my modules, the input for that would be study two to three hours per day. And when it came to the gym, my output, I wanted to build more muscle, the input would be do these certain amount of sets, these certain amount of reps with this uh, intensity or this type of weight, okay? You get the picture. So like I said, you need to focus on the inputs, write a list of inputs, things that you are gonna do every single day to try and get your output. And those two things combined will form your plan. This is your plan for the next couple of months. And without a plan, there is no way that you're gonna have a successful winter arc, okay? The winter arc is built on the foundation of a good plan. And no matter what anyone tells you, you need a plan. You need at least a vision of what the future will look like. Moving on to number two, daily schedule. You have to have a daily schedule to go with your plan. So the first step is a plan, which is the inputs and outputs. The second step, is your daily schedule. What will your day look like every single day? And again, I'm gonna add a caveat to this one. You boys definitely can't read that, but it says rigid. And what do I mean by a rigid daily schedule? Well, for me personally, my days were exactly the same for weeks and weeks and weeks, months on end, the exact same days, no matter if it was a weekend, no matter if it was a Tuesday, no matter if it was sunny, if it was windy, if it was cloudy, if it was raining, no matter the conditions, my daily schedule was exactly the same, or at least as close as I could get it to being exactly the same. So for me, it would be wake up at 6 a.m., do some deep work for maybe three or four hours. Then I'd have breakfast, do a couple more hours of work, go to the gym, come home, do my lectures, do my university work, come back home from the library again, have some more food, do some more work, go to bed. Day in, day out. Now, obviously, I was mixing stuff up there, playing sports, uh, football, for example, and, you know, sometimes I'd go and meet some friends for a coffee, maybe, or hang out with my girlfriend for a little bit. But for the most part, it was a rigid daily schedule, okay? And it has to be rigid. You have to get this momentum started. You have to get in the flow of things. You have to become someone who knows exactly what they're doing. Most, most guys your age, they'll go to bed at night not knowing what they're doing the next day. You can't be having that. You want the same sleep time. You want the same wake-up time. You want the same time that you eat, the same meals that you eat, the same time that you do work, the same time that you rest, the same time you have naps. Everything needs to be in line and in the same. Like I said, you can have a little bit of flexibility, but for the most part, these things have to be in line and you need to know exactly what you're doing every single day. Let's move on to number three, and this is a controversial one. No social media. No social media. And now a couple of you watching this, I know what you're thinking. How on earth am I gonna do no social media? Well, let me tell you a little quick story. It'll take two minutes to tell you, and I'm sure it'll really hone this point home for you boys. So when I started my winter arc, I was debating, should I delete social media or should I not? And I was one of those guys who, I would talk to everyone on social media. You know, I'd talk to girls on Snapchat, I'd text my best friends on Snapchat, uh, I would send people things on Instagram, I would talk over DMs and Twitter. I didn't use text message and I didn't use WhatsApp, I wouldn't exchange my number, I would just use social media instead. And I was fearful. I was scared that people wouldn't know how to talk to me, people would be worried, all this type of thing. 
Well, fast forward six months, not having any Snapchat, not having Instagram, not having Twitter, not having YouTube, none of that happened, right? Now there's two routes that you can go down here. Number one, which I recommend for most of you, which I didn't do myself, is tell people on social media, so the people you text on Snapchat, the people you text on Instagram, text them and say, look, I'm having a break from social media, hope you understand, here's my uh, phone number, if you need me, my text messages will still be open. And then bang, 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 delete social media, delete Snapchat, delete Instagram, just that one text, and if people want to contact you, they will. You'll find that your best friends will contact you, you find that the people who actually want to talk to you will contact you, and those who you just have conversations with or just send fucking selfies on Snapchat to back and forth, they won't contact you. And then you just leave them because you can see who is actually cares about you, who's your real friends and who isn't and who doesn't care about you, right? Well, the second method, which I did, which is a bit more extreme, is to just delete it. Don't tell anyone, just delete it. And what you'll find with this is what happened when you told people will happen again, but to the most extreme, 10 times more extreme, meaning that the people who actually care for you, the people who notice when you don't text them on Snapchat, on Instagram, when you go missing, they'll reach out to you and they'll say like, bro, where are you? What's happening? Is your Snapchat broken? Blah, 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 blah. And after a couple of months, people get used to it. For example, I was that guy, like I said, who text people on Snapchat. I deleted it. A few of my mates text me saying like, yo, where have you gone? Is your Snapchat broken? Is your Instagram broken? Blah, blah, blah. And then I explained to them over text message saying like, nah, uh, I'm just taking a break from social media. And after a couple of weeks, they just, know me as the guy that doesn't use social media. They knew me as the guy that didn't have Snapchat anymore or didn't have Instagram anymore. People get used to it. People don't think about you as much as you think about yourself. Trust me on that one. Step number three, to actually do a successful winter arc. I know it's hard, but delete social media. Let's get into number four, productivity. Now there is so much to know about productivity. And once you get down the rabbit hole of productivity, it is mad, it is crazy how people become productive, how people have these productive routines. And I'm gonna make a full video on productivity and what I did to become productive. But all you need to know for right now is just Google search, read books, stuff like Deep Work by Carl Newport. They'll teach you how to become extremely productive. They'll teach you how to do more in a day than most people can do in a week or even a month. And once you become productive, your life will completely change. You'll do the things that actually matter. You'll do the big movers rather than all the little things that don't really matter. The time wasters that you've, you've found on a daily basis, all that type of stuff. You'll find that that doesn't matter at all. And it's just a waste of time, basically. So number four is to research into productivity. And you'll soon find that your winter act will have like a compound exponential growth. So this will be you on your first couple of days on the winter arc, it'll be slow progress, slow progress, slow progress. But then as you become more and more productive, you'll just find this exponential growth like this. And that will be your productivity. That will also represent uh, the outputs that you have, the gains in the gym, the subscribers on YouTube, the followers on TikTok or the followers on Instagram, whatever your goals are, you'll find that your productivity just skyrockets. And like I said in the intro, I was in university, I was creating YouTube videos, and I was going to the gym as well, and I was healthy eating, I was keeping in shape, I was still going on walks, I was still doing all this type of stuff, and my productivity just skyrocketed, because you have to be productive if you want to get enough done. You know, you want to be working minimum eight hour days. Honestly, I was about, I was about 10 hour days. Like I said, it would start at six, and I'd go to bed at 10, uh, in the night and I was pretty much working the whole time, uh, the majority of the time, 90% 90, 90 of the time, at least. And for number five, we've got the big one. It begins with C, can anyone guess? Consistency. Consistency is your goal here. You want to have a long-term mindset. You want to think, okay, I've got October, November, December, January, February, March, if you're in the UK, it doesn't get warm until at least June. So April and May as well, that's six months of the year. That's, that's half the year that you've got to be on your kind of winter arc type thing. So you've got to look at the long run. You've got to be doing things every single day that you could stick to for months. Because there's no point working a 12 hour day, but then just being burnt out and not being able to work the rest of the week. It's better to do a five hour day, five times a week. See what I mean here? So you have to find a daily schedule that works for you. Something that you can do every single day for months on end, on end, on end. Meaning, if you have to take a break, you have to take a break. If you have to incorporate a nap into your daily schedule, incorporate a nap into your daily schedule. If you play sports, stuff like that, football, rugby, whatever, keep doing that. I still played football, I still played sports. I still met up with my friends and stuff, like I said, for a coffee. I still kept my relationship going this whole time. So you have to find a daily schedule that works, 
make it uh, tough, make it um, so that you're doing, you know, the big things, like I said earlier, but at the same time, you have to be consistent because consistency is the goal. The only way to not fail is to not quit. So if you don't quit on your winter arc, then you will have a successful one, no matter what, no matter how much progress you make, little, big, small, whatever. I'll leave this video here and I'll say, now is the time to lock in. If you're from the UK, then this winter arc is inevitable you might as well do it because what the fuck else are you going to do you've got you haven't got much time no matter how old you are you never have too much time the clock is always ticking so lock in boys complete your winter arc let me know in the comments if you've got any questions let me know in the comments what you would add to this list and apart from that have a good day kings peace out